New York's JFK Airport handles a lot of international flights. About 43,000 people enter the US through this airport every day. Terminal 4 alone handles approximately 1,000 passengers an hour, and that's a lot of people. And a lot of people means a lot of luggage. No, before you go! Not everything inside that luggage can be legally brought into the country though, so all bags have to be checked for contraband. While people do attempt to bring illegal narcotics through Terminal 4, it is not the most common form of contraband, nor is it the most dangerous. The most damaging form of contraband is actually food and plants that can introduce harmful insects or bacteria into the ecosystem. In order to quickly check the vast amount of luggage that enters JFK every day, the airport has various systems in place. and perhaps Perhaps one of the most important are the sniffer dogs, and these dogs are trained to react passively. When they smell narcotics, they just sit down by the case that contains them. However, narcotics aren't the only things that dogs can be trained to distinguish. And for detecting undeclared food and plants, the Customs and Border Protection officers also use dogs. A human nose has around 5 million scent receptors. A dog's nose, however, depending on the breed, can have up to 300 million. And up to 40% of its brain is used for processing the information they receive. This means that whereas a human in perfect conditions can pick up a scent from hundreds of meters away, a dog can do it from over 12 miles away. The reason why it's important for people to declare any food they have with them, or for the authorities to catch anyone who doesn't declare it, is because the introduction of invasive species costs billions of dollars in agricultural losses and control methods a year, not to mention lasting damage to ecosystems and the eradication of indigenous wildlife. The Asian citrus psyllid was first detected in Miami in 1998 and was probably brought in from Asia by boat. The Asian citrus psyllid carries a very harmful bacteria with it that destroys citrus trees. Since 1998 it has spread across the whole country and now over half of Florida's trees are infected and it has also been detected in Georgia, Texas and California. The Asian longhorned beetle has caused so much damage to hardwood trees in New York, Ohio and Illinois that over half a billion dollars have been spent trying to eradicate it. The brown marmorated stink bug damages food crops and infests people's homes and because in the US it has no natural predators, its population growth rises unchecked. Kogan grass entered the US as seeds in packing material and is displacing native plants in the southeast and increasing the risk of wildfire because it burns quicker and hotter than native grasses. The list of invasive flora and fauna that exists in the US today is so extensive that efforts to control its ingress are vital. Over 120 pounds of undeclared food is confiscated every day at JFK Airport, and that's a lot of food for the dogs to find, but also it's a lot of food to destroy. Unlike seized narcotics and animal products that have to be processed and destroyed in the incinerator at a secret location, the majority of fruit, veg, and plants seized at the airport are destroyed on site. Seized food will be taken to a room that houses a machine that the CBP officers called the Muffin Monster. Before using the machine, the office must inspect suspect pieces of food searching for diseases, larvae, or insect penetration points. If they find any, they neutralize the threat and send a sample to the Department of Agriculture for further investigation. The Muffin Monster is actually the large inline sewage grinding machine that the food is sluiced into from a donut-shaped stainless steel sink. The only inconvenience with this process is that grinding up so much food every day makes the room smell of decomposing vegetable matter. So in order to keep the room smelling fresh, CBP officers tend to hold back grinding the citrus products until the end of the day. Did you enjoy this video? If so, let us know in the comments below. And please like and subscribe, it helps a lot.